In SAP ERP, in many cases, we have the need to display the SAP data tables. For example, maybe we are looking for some information that we cannot find in the standard reports, or we want to extract some data tables into Excel. To do so, we use the SAP Data Browser Transactions. In the last video, I explained the first one, SE16N, which is available in SAP ECC and also in SAP S4HANA. In the video today, I will explain the second transaction, SE16H, which is available mainly in SAP S4HANA and also in SAP ECC on HANA database. The transaction code is SE16H. Here we have an SAP note. This one includes all the details of the functions of SE16H. It is very useful. If you have an S user, you should definitely check this SAP note. Then we have the database connection field. If you have any available database connections, you can click on this and you will see them here. You can choose the one you want. Then we have the outer join definition. This is one of the best features we have in SE16H. It allows us to join two or more tables in the same transaction run without having to create a query or a report. We can do everything from the same transaction here. For the example today, I'm using the table SCKB1. This one includes the details of the GL account on the level of the company code. And here I have created an, out an outer join definition to be able to display the full details of the GL account on the chart account and the company code levels. And this requires more than one table. Let me show you the result of using this outer join definition. Here I will insert my company code AG01 and then execute. Here we have the details from SCKB1. But if we go to the right, we have the details that came from the join tables. For example, if I go to group account and I press on F1, then go to the technical details, you see that this column came from SCKA1. And this is thanks to the outer join definition that I created. To display it, we can click on this icon and then click on change or display. And here we have the details of the outer join definition. I will create another video where I will explain in details everything you see here. Once the video is ready, I will leave you a link here. Or if you are watching on another website than YouTube, you can find it in the description of the video. The next feature we have here is the formula field. This allows us to use a formula in SE16H. So now we can create a formula and use it. We don't have to go to any other transactions. If you have any available formulas, you can find them in this drop down menu. And if you would like to create a new one, you can click here. If you cannot find this field in the screen, then you need to check the settings here. Go to extras, change settings, and be sure that you have the technical view selected. I have already explained all of these fields in the last video, by the way. Now let's go back. I have already created a formula for today's example on table BSEG. If we check here, I have one that's called document clearing age. To display the formula, I can click here and then click on display or change. And this will show the definition of the formula. I will also create another video where I will explain in details how to use these formulas in SA16H. Once the video is ready, again, I will leave you the link here or in the video description. Now, let me show you the impact of using this formula. Here I have selected the formula and then I will insert some selection criteria. So for example, the clearing date, then execute. Here we have posting date, clearing date, and clearing age. This is the result of my formula, which counts the number of days between the clearing date and posting date. So this field equals clearing date minus posting date. Here, for example, I have the clearing date 27 April, posting date is 12 of April. The difference is 15 days. Now let's go back. The last field we have remaining in the header is the grouping minimum. To understand this, we need to understand this checkbox for group. So let me first remove my formula here and remove the selection criteria. I will stay in BSEG, but I will only display the data for my company code AG01. Now, how many entries do we have? We have 707. If I would like to see how many entries I have on the level of AG01, I can also use this group field and then execute. Now SAP is showing that there are 707 entries in BSEG for my company code AG01. I can use the same to display the values for all the company codes. So this is used to count the number of entries on the level of this field. So the number of entries we have in this table on the level of the company code field, execute. I have 451 on the level of this company code. I have 12,000 on the level of this company code and so on. We can use this on multiple fields. So for example, I would like to know how many entries I have in every company code on the level of fiscal year. 
So here I will select group on fiscal year and execute again. So now on the level of company code 001, in year 2020, we have 160. In year 2021, we have 291. Now let's say I would like to reverse this sorting. I want the year to be before the company code. Then I can go back. And then in sequence, I can say that this has one and this has two. And then execute again. So now the year is coming before the company code. On the year 2019, on the level of every company code, we have this number of postings. Now let's say I would like to see the grouping on the level of the document number for my company code, AG01. Execute. Here we can see that the maximum number of line items I have for any document in my company code is eight. We have some documents with eight, then we have six and five and so on. Now, if I would like SAP to show only the documents that have more than six line items, so six line items or more. In this case, I can use the grouping minimum and here I will insert six. So SAP will only display the documents that have a minimum count of six lines in this table. So I have inserted six here and I have selected grouping on the level of the document number, execute. Now SAP is showing only the document numbers that have a minimum of six line items. Now let's go back and the next we have the total field. First, let me remove the grouping minimum and remove this group and let's go down to the total field. So this total is only available for the columns that can be totaled. For example, the amount in local currency, but we cannot total, for example, a posting key or the company code field. This is why it's only available on certain fields. So I will choose also grouping on the level of my company code and I will choose grouping on the fiscal year. Then execute. So now we see that for company code AG01 in the year 2021, we have this amount. 2022, we have this amount. Now you need to be very careful when using this with accounting tables because here SAP is totaling both the debits and the credits as positive. So in order to see the correct value, I will go back and I, I will also choose grouping by the debit or credit. So see this field, I will choose also grouping here and then execute. Now you can see that for 2021, we have a debits and the credits that are equal to each other. In the last screen, these two were totaled because as you see, both of them are positive. On the level of accounting tables, SAP does not include negative for credit. It includes this indicator, which means that it is a credit. So you need to be very careful when using this. And let's do a quick check. Now we understand all of these. We understand the database connection, table, text table, layout, maximum number of hits, grouping minimum and formula. Some of these fields I explained in the video today, the others were explained in the SE 16 in video. And then we also understand the outer join definition. And here we have checked the from value to value more. The group, this one is only available in SE 16 H and it is used to choose a set. So if you have any sets created for this field, you can find them here and you can choose the one you want. Then we have the sort and the sort type fields. So for example, let's say I would like to sort the document numbers in descending order. So here I will click on sort and then sort type descending and I would like to see them by fiscal year. So I will click on sort for fiscal year and the fiscal years, I want them to be in ascending order. And I would like to see the fiscal year first, then the document number. So the sequence will be one for fiscal year and two for, for the document number. Then execute. Here I have 2021, then the document numbers in descending order. Then I have 2022, if we go down, 22 and the document numbers also in descending order. So this is how the sorting works. Let's go back. And the last field we have is aggregate. This can be either no aggregation, average, maximum or minimum. For example, let's see what is the highest amount we have as a credit for any document in my company code. Here I have AG01. I will unselect all the fields. I only want to see the document number and the debit or credit and also the amount in local currency. Execute. Now, what is the maximum amount we have? The maximum amount I have is for this document and th it is this number. I don't know if this is one trillion or one billion, something like this, but you see that's this number. Now, let's say I want to report what is the highest amount without having to do all of this. And now I will select back all of the entries and then I would like to see the maximum of the amount in local currency. So here I will choose maximum and the group by company code. Execute.
and here we have the maximum value that's posted in my company code and this is exactly the same number as the one we saw a minute ago and this proves our aggregation is working fine and this is it for the additional features in sa 16 h don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I publish the two videos for outer join definition and for formulas. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you would like to get access to other videos and to the presentations, configuration materials and study notes, you can check the channel membership program. You can also check the rest of the playlist here, the next video here, or other interesting videos up there. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.